not only is the performance of Avdol beautiful to contemplate, but in my mind, when Albert Lord, who as an undergraduate at Harvard was studying uh, the work of Avdo, when I see Albert Lord as an old man talking about what it was like to listen to Avdo perform the heroic deeds of heroes of the glorious past of Muslim Europe, that moment, which is captured in a lecture, is to me uh, one of the most exciting firing of a synapse, so to speak, in, in the sense that uh, here's Lord talking about a singer in the early 1930s in former Yugoslavia and comparing the content of that song with the Clea Andron, the glories of heroes, as beautifully brought back to life in the storytelling of Phoenix in Rhapsody 9 of the Iliad. Another informal setting is the coffee house in Muslim communities where men gather, especially during the month of Ramadan, and listen after a day of fasting to epic songs that may continue for a whole night. It was reported by some of Milman Parry's Muslim informants for instance, Chamil Kulenovich of Kulenvakuf, whose father had been a bey, that during the Ottoman rule, the nobility, the agas, beys, pashas, and viziers, sometimes invited epic singers to entertain their guests and might even keep them in their household for some time. Only the last of these settings seems to fit, possibly, the ancient Greek case except uh, for one figure, and that is of Achilles sitting in his tent and singing Clea on Drone, the deeds of heroes. <laughs> 